Hello folks, Scott Grove here. Uh, going to do some reviews on some other instruments I have acquired as of uh, late. Um, actually got uh, a nice offering for you today. Here is the um, new Gene Simmons bass. Uh, the, he's been endorsed by so many people and he finally made uh, his infamous Axe bass um, available for pretty much everybody. So he has teamed up with uh, people of court and uh, they came out with that's right. There you go, kitties. The good old axe base. <laughs> so, there, there she is. Here's your headstock. So you got your court logo. Your Gene Simmons uh, pseudo signature. Okay. What we have on, it's actually an Indonesian base. Let's see if I can actually get the strap off here. Let you get everything you can. That's why we do the review. Not to hear me play, but to see what's going on. Okay. There you go. That's the GS Gene Simmons Axe 2. Okay. So all that junk they always print back there. Uh, nice tuners. Uh, they do put a uh, four bolt neck. Just like that there. I would actually compare this quite to a... Um, actually one of the Ibanez type bases. The, uh, probably along the lines of the Ibanez... Uh, actually the Iceman basis is what it's like. Um, I'll get this camera down here so we can put it on the real star of the show. And okay, so here you got the body. Um, it is a little bit neck heavy, just like again, like the Ibanez uh, Iceman bases are. Um, nothing to be afraid of. It's it's fine. The back of the neck is finished, so you will have a little sticky problems when you get sweating on her. But for all the Kiss tribute bands out there, you can't beat this thing. I'll tell you what, it actually sounds pretty amazing. I was surprised that it wasn't a big muddy sounding bass like the tone that Gene always gets, you know. Um, he must, if he actually uses these things, he must roll the tone completely off on his bass and shut it completely off on all his amps too because this thing is actually as bright as you would um, expect it to be because of the PJ pickups in it. It's not peanut butter and jelly. No, we have Mighty Might pickups are stock. Okay, so you got your jazz bass back here, your P bass splits here. Master volume, master tone, freeway toggle switch um, is very bright. I actually had to lower the uh, jazz pickup in this thing. Um, if you find with this thing that it's a little bit too bright for your taste, hey, guess what? You go over to your amp and or your guitar. Hey, turn down the highs a little bit. There you go. Problem solved. But it is a very bright bass. So uh, it's um, actually kind of... <laughs> funky bass. Um, so it's clean as all get out. Almost as clean as you would get with like say a um, active bass. Okay so um, nothing is extremely responsive as far as the tone. It's fine. But, you know nothing like an active would be of course. But it works well. The volume don't work. It basically goes from zero to one to nine to ten. <laughs> okay, so there's no real in between with the volume thing. Um, I really don't know any bass players that use their volumes anyway, just play harder or softer. Anyway, um, it's an amazing finish on the thing, like you would think. Uh, that's the plastic on the pick guard, don't worry about that back there, or on the uh, cavity control cover there. It plugs in in a great place right back here in the back, which is very nice. Okay, so they actually, once and for all, somebody thought to put a jack in the right place. So it goes right here to your strap, boom, you're done. You know, you got your wireless hanging here or whatever. But it's got the infamous uh, cover that Gene likes to keep on all his uh, stuff from back in the 70s, like, you know, the old grabbers and stuff like that, and uh, his other different bases that he had uh, back in the day. So it does have the great big um, bridge cover on it. The bridge is actually a high mass bridge. Uh, once again, I'll pull off the uh, strap here, shut down the volume, so maybe we can get some kind of shot of what's going on with the bridge. Okay, there's about what I can give you. So it's actually a very easily uh, adjustable base. Um, it comes with all kinds of fun stuff, <laughs> actually. Um, 
I will get what it comes with and show you everything. But, uh, we'll actually put the base down for two seconds and then show you some more. But anyway, the uh, base comes in the big Gene Simmons gig bag. That's right, of course. So it's a very heavy duty gig bag. Um, stiff as a flipping rock. But it does come with the um, the uh, strap button on the back of the bass actually comes off of the guitar in a bag inside your uh, compartment in here so it doesn't mar up anything and then you put it's already been screwed in once at the factory then they take it out put it in a little baggie with all your little adjustments for your bridge for your little allen wrenches and so forth the funniest thing I thought was the shower cap you're like huh um, when you receive this base, it actually comes with this little cover. <laughs> You're going to love this. But it fits right over top of the end of the base like this. Okay, first thing I thought of, and that's just, of course, and then it goes inside the gig bag and then inside of a box, blah, blah, blah. But first thing, when I saw this, if you remember uh, on American Idol, we had uh, Sanjaya. Remember him? The guy with the mohawk sometimes, sometimes not. It's like... The Mohawk shower cap, you know. <laughs> so you get that with the uh, with the gig bag here. But it's a cool little package. It really is. Um, I'd spend the money all over again. And speaking of money, what do these things cost? Um, five, six hundred bucks, somewhere in that area. Um, at the moment, They're, they'll probably gonna go way up. You get a free uh, fifty cent guitar cord with it. Got molded in, so nothing special there. Gene's not giving up any money. Uh, your little three Allen wrenches, and that's it as far as your accessories go. So, uh, Gene's not giving away anything special with this other than just the fact that you get the axe base. Okay, so, and it is actually a great sounding, great playing instrument, and it's uh, exactly what it is. It's for the average Joe out there who wants the axe base once and for all. You know, 30 years later, you get it. Okay, so here it is, right in the middle, both pickups on. Uh, so here you go. Okay, so if you're into the whole funk thing, it's actually bright as I'll get up for that. Here's just the jazz pickup. If you go just to the P bass pickup, you're starting to get more in gene territory, okay? Roll back the tone a little bit. Oh, I forgot the infamous thing. You gotta grab the uh, pick to be like gene. Roll off the tone even more. So you're getting into the Gene Simmons tone there. Um, there's nothing as far as springs under here. You're getting with spongy stuff. So when you go to make adjustments on your pickups, um, it's just foam under there. So um, it just pops them back up because of the foam. Once the foam wears out, put some springs under there. And um, Like I said, it's not a huge uh, high dollar quality bass, but it's a really cool bass. And it, like I said, it sounds great, it plays great. Um, no uh, fret markers on the front at all. They are here on the sides. So basically there you go, the Court Gene Simmons uh, Axe 2 bass. Um, it is very cool. So if you really want one, it is worth the money. I would pay twice the money for it. So um, that's it. It's just a good, clean sounding bass. A lot cleaner than Gene usually plays. So. tell by that it's really clean and articulate so don't worry about being a mud base so it's very clean so trust it for that and it's just sweet as all get out and nobody will forget you having it so there you go kitties